Hello and welcome to the first episode of Project Mouse. From the outset, let me say that this is a purely personal project and is not planned for production. I have always been fascinated by this beast and this project gives me an opportunity to experiment with some new techniques and materials. For those of you unfamiliar with the mouse, here is a brief history. In 1942, Ferdinand Porsche was given the task of designing a 100-ton tank impervious to enemy anti-tank guns. However, the project soon escalated and got way out of hand. An initial prototype was built with a rudimentary turret. Alarm bells must surely have been raised when the mouse sank over six feet in mud. The second prototype was fitted with a turret, and it is this I intend to recreate. The mouse was powered by a complex diesel-electric hybrid system, which placed strain on already overstretched resources. With an ultimate weight of over 180 tonnes, its mobility was severely compromised. The project was cancelled at the end of the war, and the two prototypes were blown up by German forces. The hull of the first prototype and the turret of the second were recovered by the Russians, reassembled and tested. This marriage now resides in the Kubinka Museum in Russia. Before I start any project, I try and bring together as much source information as possible. For Project Mouse, this consists of three publications. I'll put links to them in the description. This video is not sponsored, but I do recommend these books. My first book provided me with plans to ascertain the viability of the project. It also gives me an idea of just how big I could go with this model, and a sense of the relative size of the mouse to other tanks. This is one of a series of volumes containing high quality drawings of dozens of armoured fighting vehicles, and gives a good overview. This book on special panzer variants is one of a series by Spielberger and Doyle. These books are from a technical perspective, and have very little in-service history, but that's fine for me. There isn't much on the mouse in here, and as with others in the series, plans are printed across two pages, which makes them pretty hard to use. Having said that, this volume does shed light on some other fascinating projects. For fans of the mouse, this is THE book to have. It covers all aspects of this monster, from the early designs onto the first prototype and its testing, with photos of mouse number one being transported by rail and stuck in deep mud. The second prototype is well covered, as well as the demise of the two tanks at the end of the war. The recovery and testing by the Russians of the composite mouse is well documented. Colour photos of the tank at Kubinka really bring the subject to life.
There are lots of test reports and detailed specifications of the mouse as well. After scanning the plans and checking the dimensions, I've decided to make my mouse in 1 24th scale. I wanted to make the model as big as possible, and this was the largest I could sensibly print out. This would make a 6 foot tall figure, about 76 millimetres or 3 inches tall. The model works out at about 420 millimetres long, which is about 16 and a half inches. I think that'll be big enough. The drawings are loaded into my design software and I'm well advanced with the 3D model. This will help me explore and solve the technical issues and work out how to engineer the model. The turret will be my starting point as it poses the fewest technical problems. I have now modelled this in 3D and just have to print the parts out and start assembly. It all sounds so simple, but I suspect there may be trouble ahead as I venture into new territory. In the next episode I shall be working on the turret, so make sure you hit subscribe to keep up with the latest news on this project.